if you find yourself that you're right in front of your project and you know that, okay, you got all the parts laid out, but you really want to organize the form of the song. And the form is basically like, you know, either A, B, A, B, or if I'm doing verse, chorus, bridge, climb, et cetera, et cetera. So in my song, Super World, I have everything organized this way. And if you're not sure how to use the arranger tool, then definitely check this video out. I deleted some of the arranger parts that I had assigned. So now, if you want to assign your arranger to a certain section, you can just click wherever you want it at, and then you backtrace basically, and it'll say add section, all right? Now it adds a section and then you can go over to the arranger option, which is all the way to the left, if you're looking at the track view, and then you'll see it right on the side that it added section 17, okay? And I think I had some other ones that were still here, that's why you see section 18, et cetera, some of these other ones. So section 17, I can go, I can rename it, I can duplicate it, I can do a few other things too. I can tell what type of section it is, so they have some that are already in here, or I can add a new one, so that way I can use it later on, and I can change the color to it. Once you do that, then you can set it up as an arrangement. This is kind of like learning all the letters in the alphabet, right? These are all my letters that I can use. Down here is the arrangement, so I can use those letters to make my words, or my musical words, rather. So let's say um, I want to do the intro here. I can just drag it down. I can do it that way, or I can click this button here, which says add all sections to the arrangement, and it'll add all of those down. But say I don't want all of that, and maybe I want it in a different way. So rather than having to go through and copy it just like this, because this is the way I did it, which is the hard way to do it, you don't have to do all that. You could just create your intro, your verse, your chorus, your vamp, your bridge, and that'll be it, unless each section is different. In this case, every section is different for mine. <laughs> so that's why everything's a little different. So I bring the intro down, I can bring the verse down, and let's say I just wanna bring the chorus down. And then I can press play right there and it'll go through each section. It's gonna go to the verse, verse, verse here. Go to the chorus. I'll be a superman. You'll be my super girl. We'll live in a super world. I'll be a superman. You'll be my super girl. We'll live in a super world. Alright, so and that's that basically. That would be my arrangement. Now, of course, that was not quite smoothest arrangement uh, and that's because musically everything has to lead into each other but this is a good way where you can arrange your song you don't have to spend all the time so this is why I say it's good to record all the parts that you want for your song like get every part laid out all your horns all your strings all your piano all your drums get everything laid out and then add those to those sections and then you can take those sections and just copy and, and move them around and paste them wherever you want you can also do it this way as well. Say, for instance, if I wanted to copy this section 17, I can just click on it. And this is the beauty of this because now hold down control and I can drag that where I need and it'll copy it again. That is much easier than trying to like highlight all the tracks and be like, oh, well, I need, no, I just need track 17, 18, 19 right here. And then trying to move them over that way. So. This is a few different ways you can deal with the arranger tool. Now, this might be the brief version because there's a lot more you still can do with it, but I just wanna give this quick tip. Definitely use this on your projects, all right? If you like content like this, definitely subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, you're notified every time I post content. And we just hit 1,000 subscribers, so if you were one of the people that were watching the channel, I definitely wanna say I appreciate you. And if you are interested in having your music heard or listened to or critiqued, as they call it, uh, we are going to do a live. Well, I'm going to do a live. Hopefully some other people get on with me live Thursday, this Thursday, 8 a.m. 
And if you want to submit music to be listened to, there's a form that you'll find in the description below. All right. So make sure that you click on that and go from there. All right. Take care. Love you all. Peace.